Happy Sunday, everybody. We are gonna do a little bit of an experiment today. We just got a Yeti tumbler. We wanna see if it matches up to the Tervis tumbler and also just a plain styrofoam cup from Circle K. So, folks keep telling me about their Yeti tumblers and that they're better than Tervis and we've used Tervis tumblers for the last couple of years. Um, we think they're fantastic. Um, but we want to actually just see which keeps drinks colder longer. So we want to be able to try to put equal amounts of ice into each of those cups and see um, just how long it takes for the ice to melt. Okay, so for the purpose of our experiment here today, we've got a Tervis that's 24 ounces. We have a Circle K Polar Pop Styrofoam Cup, 20 ounces. And we have this Yeti Tumbler, also 20 ounces. What we're going to do is just fill this up to about here with water. But I think what we're going to do is put like six ice cubes each in each of these cups. And then we're just going to measure how far down the ice uh, melts and the timing that it takes for them to melt. So Jesse's going to put the ice cubes in here. Oh. All right. <laughs> it's on the floor. All right. So there's the ice cubes. Obviously each of these holds considerably more ice cubes, but I want to see how long it takes for them to melt and not wait like three days for them to melt. All right, so for all intents and purposes, these are all equal now. We have six ice cubes each. We have the same temperature of water starting out with, and you can actually feel like the cup, this one's a little chilly or a little cool at least to the touch. The styrofoam is as well, and the Yeti. No change in temperature on the outside, really. And we don't have a digital thermometer to put in here, so, um, you know, it's a cheap seats. What do you expect? Here's a close-up of the ice. You can already hear the ice starting to adjust in the Tervis. And this is 6.21 p.m. We'll come back in about half an hour or an hour and see where we're at. Okay, it is 7.25 p.m., one hour and a couple of minutes later. You should check this out. Tervis, there is literally no ice left out of the six cubes. So we've got very cold water. It's actually cold to the touch outside, but no ice. The polar cup from K, a Circle K, actually is kind of sweating on the side. But look, we still have semblance of ice in there. And then the Yeti... There's no condensation on the outside, doesn't feel cold at all. But we still have, for the most part, uh, six full pieces of ice. So it hasn't really melted much at all. There you go, one hour, nothing in the Tervis. Some in Circle K, all of it in Yeti. So we're going to keep going and see how much longer it takes for this stuff to melt. I should note that it is 74 degrees in our house right now. So it's not all too hot for that ice to have melted that quick. All right, it is 8.11, so not quite an hour since the last time we checked, but once again, Tervis, still pretty cold drink. Feels cold on the outside, but no ice. There's no ice in this Circle K Polar Styrofoam cup. Cold, sweating on the outside. And we get to um, the Yeti, which actually feels a little bit cold on the outside now. But it still does have ice in there. Not quite as big as what it was before. But we're two hours in, and there's still ice cubes in this cup. All right, 8:46. Tarver's still cold, but water. Polar's still kind of cold. A little bit getting a little bit warmer. And the Yeti, still ice cold. And there's still some ice fragments in there. They're probably about a third the size of what they were before. All right, so it's 9:35. I moved the cups a little over on the counter um, but just so you know this is still cold it's all water this is kind of room temperature and it's water this 
has lost all of its ice finally and the last bit of ice just went away so roughly three hours later the ice was gone out of the Yeti so you may ask why uh, the ice went so quick in our experiment versus some of the other stuff that's on YouTube because I think a bunch of folks have done this if you search for Yeti versus um, Tervis one I wanted to test out that polar cup um, for what I, or whatever it's called from Circle K because Jesse was adamant yesterday at the monster trucks. It was the ice cubes that, and it's uh, McDonald's cups. Yeah, that it was supposed to make things last longer. But more importantly, um, we only chose six ice cubes because I'm not sure, like all of these tests that are on the web already have like an entire cup full of ice. And I don't know about you, but I don't normally put that much ice in my cup. I think even six ice cubes is kind of pushing it. So I wanted to show just how long it would take at room temperature for a normal size cup with normal ice cubes to melt. The Yeti still outperformed well better than the Tervis. So we're talking like one hour to three hours worth of time. And the Circle K cup um, actually did better than the Tervis also at almost two hours, I think, if we go back in time. But anyway, that was that. Welcome back, everybody. We now join our regularly scheduled video in progress. Hey everybody, happy Sunday. It is lazy, lazy Sunday, and that's my cell phone, so I gotta go get that. It's not every day that you see a triple cab truck driving in front of you. Check that out. We are gonna go and go off the rails. Hooters! Two days in a row, Hooters. The football game today, Panthers and the Seahawks. Seahawks completely being blown out at this point. I figured the Panthers would be winning the end result of the game by plus 17, but it looks like they're like going plus 100 at this point. <laughs> but in the meantime, we're going to eat our one meal for the day. So we skipped breakfast, skipped dinner at this point, but I did. I didn't. <laughs> and it's 2.30, so yeah. we're going to go do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. No, I did you want. New on the menu, it's beer cheese and pretzels. We've got Daytona wings, our favorite, not breaded, naked, and uh, lots of tots, not good for us. Jesse got barbecue, breaded, bad for her, but she likes it. And we're just eating celery. We are going to Dick's Sporting Goods because we're just dragging our feet. I've got like the video to edit from yesterday still. Now it's getting later. Got ducktails on, but uh, more importantly, the editing of that video is probably gonna take like two and a half, three hours because of the little clips that we took. So that's how much work goes into doing the YouTube stuff. And I'm kind of just dreading it today because I want to do nothing on Sunday. So we'll go to Dick's instead. I would love to play Froth one day. Look at all these different things. I feel like I would be a champion at that game. I'll just need to switch my car now to that green Lamborghini. But seriously, if you're gonna buy a Lamborghini, do you really buy it in lime green? Why not? We stopped by Gander Mountain because our chemo supply was running a little bit low. <laughs> but we actually were looking for Yeti cups and we got one. Well, it is actually the next morning and we're getting ready to head out to Disney, but um, just forgot to do a close. So, Checked on the water, which is still sitting here overnight. Um, this Tervis still moderately cool. This room temperature kind of warm. And this actually still pretty ice cold. So there you have it. Not to endorse any product either way, but the Yeti seems to keep things much colder than the other cups. So on that note, thank you for all of your likes. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.